Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the color curves tool. The color curves provide splines to change the red, green, blue and alpha channels of your incoming image. The splines can either be changed altogether and of course spline points can be smoothed out by pressing shift S or they can be moved individually for example by disengaging all channels but the red then move the red spline, move the green spline or if all curves are visible of course you can move them like this individually as long as they are active here. If you feel that the spline area doesn't give you enough real estate to modify the splines accurately you can always go to the spline view and modify the splines here like so. The mode offers you options for either having no animation, which means that the splines are static, no matter at what time of your composition you modify them. The Dissolve Color Correct is obsolete these days and is basically there to keep compatibility with older flows. The Animated Color Correct gives you full control over animating each individual color spline. So if we change the current frame and modify the splines like so, you will see that over time this animation is applied to the image. You can also change the color space you're working in. This defaults to RGB. You can work in YUV as well. In that case the R, G and B buttons will be renamed to Y, U and V to reflect the current color space. The same counts for HLS, YIQ or CMY. You can also pick a color from any image displayed in one of the views, like so. A spline point will be created on the red, green and blue to exactly reflect the picked color, which now means that you can easily modify the value of that pick point for example. The color curves tool also allows to match to a reference image. Like in this case, just connect the reference image to the foreground input of your color curves tool and select match reference. Reference splines will then be created. The number of points on that splines are determined by the slider number of samples on match curve which defaults to a value of 64. If you want a coarser curve, just move down that slider and hit Match Reference again. And of course, the curves can be modified afterwards, like so for example. Similar to the Match function in the Color Corrector, the Color Curves tool also provides a Match Rectangle. So when you use the Match Reference, you can define which area of your image should be used for measuring. The last option is the pre-divide post multiply checkbox similar to the brightness contrast tool. This means that any incoming image with a mask will be divided by the alpha channel then the color correction is applied and then it's multiplied again by the original alpha.